Hello guys, this is Kevin from Apex2 Technology Company. Uh, we already installed our oil immersion cooling system. Our immersion cooling system is composed of oil tank, mineral oil, oil pump, radiator, water pump, and water tower. Okay, let's see the right part of our oil immersion cooling system first. This is oil tank. This is oil pump. And this is radiator. This is water pump. This is water tower. And this, this is mineral oil. Okay, next part with the most interesting part for you guys. I will introduce you how to set up this oil immersion cooling system when you receive our product. Please look at this part. This is hot water outlet. You need to connect with a water tower. You know, through this pipe to connect with water tower. And this is a uh, water inlet of water tower. When hot water enters into water tower, water tower will make it cold. And please look at this part. This is cold water outlet. You need to connect this part with water pump. As for the other side of water pump, you need to connect this part with radiator. This is, this is cold water inlet. Okay, just now we talk about how to set up water pump and water tower and all the connections. And as for the next part, which will be finished by our team, as for oil pump, radiator, and uh, power strip, our technicians will install this for you guys. So you don't have to do this part. Okay, for the next part, we will show you how we Fill the tank with the mineral oil. Please have a look. Okay, now this tank is filled with mineral oil. Please have a look. Next, I will show you how this oil circulation works. Please look at, the, look at this. The hot oil is on the top and it will flow into the heat exchanger by oil pump to make it cold. And then the cold oil will flow back into the tank through the holes at the bottom. A lot of customers are curious where the mineral oil is conducted. Next, I will do an experiment in person. This is electronic pan. Next, I will test it whether this mineral oil is conductive or not.
we can see the light of electronic pen is not turned down, which means this minimum oil is not conductive. We will use our N-19J Pro 104 to test our oil immersion cooling system. Since it's 19 j Pro 104 is a second high and minor, so we need to test it to check whether it can work. Our engineer is testing it. Let's go and have a look. Let's check. The hash rate is 105, so it can work well, no problem. Next, we will take a part of our S19J Pro 104 to clean the control board, hash board, and the power supply. After cleaning the miner, we still need to test it, just to make sure it can still work. Okay, next we will change the power supply to a overlocking PSU with 6000 watt power consumption. Also, we will remove all the fans of minus and install fans simulators. This is fan simulators. Only installed in these fan simulators can work start to mining. Okay, then we will put our S19 J Pro 104 into the tank to overlock. Next, our engineer will uh, flash the firmware. Please have a look. After we flash the firmware, then we can do the overlocking. Next, we will check the overlocking power consumption for its 19 j Pro 104. Let's have a look. Uh, it is 2,449 watts plus 2,482 watts. So the total is around 
4,000 and 900 volts for consumption. Okay, our S19J Pro 104 is running well. Let's go and check the overlocking hash rate. The current hash rate is 143 pH per second. If you show any interest in our oil immersion cooling system, please contact our sales through our website.